wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of John. Chapter number 14 and it's verse number 17. Scripture says, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth in you, and shall be in you. Friends, we're talking about the Holy Spirit here the next couple of days, and and so far this week we've been talking on the subject of truth. And the truth is, you can find the truth in the Bible we call the Holy Bible today. We can find the truth in the words of Jesus. We can find truth in the words that that the Spirit had had interceded and, and penned, that these men had wrote all these different books that belongs into what we call our Holy Bible today. That is the truth. And Jesus is here given some last minute instructions to the disciples this is after Judas had had left to go and and get the people that was gonna gonna arrest Jesus before he betrayed Jesus this is after the last supper they're going through a a garden on their way to where Jesus would be arrested and he's given his disciples some last minute teachings some things that they were going to need to go and to do the works that God had called them to do. And yesterday we started talking about some works of the Holy Spirit, and we saw in John chapter 16 and verse 13 that the Spirit is going to be our guide, that the Spirit is going to tell us the things that the Spirit hears from God. And today we see something important about the Scripture, again, or about the, the, the Spirit. And again, Jesus refers to the Spirit as the Spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. That means there's no falsehoods in the spirit. There's no lies in the spirit. It's the truth. He says, whom the world cannot receive. The world itself, referring to the world of sin or the world at large, cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Why is that? He gives us a couple of reasons here. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. All right, the world cannot receive the spirit because they can't see the spirit. How many times have you told somebody something and they were like, "Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it for myself." Yeah, that's pretty much the way the world is. We talk about having the Holy Spirit abiding in us, and people that don't understand God, that don't understand the Trinity, that don't understand Christianity, has has trouble understanding how we could have the Spirit living in us. And so, therefore, since they can't see it. Or since they don't know who the Holy Spirit is, they can't receive it. But Jesus says, But you know him, for he dwelleth in you and shall be in you. We know the Spirit because the Spirit dwells in us. We can sense the Spirit. When we're at church and we're having a real good worship session or a real good message from God, you can sense the Spirit, you can feel the Spirit there, and you know it's the Spirit. It can't be anything else. You know it's the Spirit. Sometimes when I'm driving along, I have a 30-minute drive to work each day, to and from work, so an hour I'm on the road each day. And I spend time praying and communing with God. And, and sometimes I, I feel the Spirit with me. Most of the time I feel the Spirit with me. And I'm sure that you can think of times that you feel the Spirit with you as well. Why is that? Because we know who the Spirit is. We can identify who the Spirit is. So we have something that the world can't have. And that's God living in us. Don't take that for granted. Don't do anything to quench the Spirit. That is to to put the work of the Spirit out in your life. 
but rather do stuff that's going to increase your relationship with God, that's going to fill you more and more with the Spirit. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (laughs) 